friends welcome back to the channel i'm shayna um i just wanted to hop on real quick today and do the quarantine coloring book challenge um but in addition to that i wanted to add the five coloring supplies that i um would need in quarantine or are must-haves in quarantine for me um i don't know who originated this tag um it's been going around for quite a while now I just wanted to do it. I haven't been tagged by anyone, but I just wanted to do it um, just for fun. So, and I also got to dig out all of my coloring books in the process, which actually isn't that many, um, which I'll get into when I do the coloring book collection and the coloring supplies collection. Um, but I don't have that many here at my apartment. Um, so I do have a ton. <laughs> um, I just haven't moved them all down here. Anyway. Like I said, we can talk more about that later, but um, so I've got my five books here. We'll start with that and then we'll move on to the coloring supplies. So first, um, I've really been into Color My Number. I talked a little bit about that in my color and chat. Um, so I definitely wanted a Color By Number book. So I grabbed this one. This is Sun Life Drawings uh, 40 coloring pages. And I grabbed this one because it has so much variety and it, I don't know why that's in there. I guess I was planning to work on a page. Oh, I am working on a page. Um, but this one has so much variety. Um, you've got, like, I don't really want to show you my finished pages because I want to do those in a separate video. But you've got mandalas, the color quest, um, the stained glass, which is really cool, the mosaic, um, and then the black background ones. So there's just really a massive variety and also, um, and there's like holiday pictures and stuff too. And then when you get to this side, you have the one colors, <clears throat> which are also really fun and they're time consuming. So if I'm going to be spending my time, might as well take up some time. There's one that I've done, <laughs> um, but we'll talk a bit more about those too. So yeah. And then in the back are just more traditional coloring pages too, which is awesome. So this one's a big variety, so I had to bring this one with me. Um, the next is Cinnamon Bun Dreams, and this I bought, brought for sentimental reasons. Um, this was the first coloring book that like I actually started blending and shading in. Um, you can see my epic fail here in the front when I tried to use super tips. Um, yeah, that didn't go so well, but it's okay. And then got some tests, and then this is the first page that I'm still working on. Um, I'm just struggling to figure out what to do with some of this, so, yeah. But I need to come back to this page. I really do like it. And then I think I'm going to do these in gel pen. Yeah. So, and it, I have a flip through of this on my channel, but it is super cute. And if you like coloring food, you'll like this book. It's adorable. So cute. I love that picture with all the peppermints. Yeah, so there are um, two flip throughs on my channel. There's one where I kind of chat through it and talk about the pictures, and there's another one that's just set to music um, that has just the flip. So I like doing my flips like that because some people like to hear us talk and some people don't. So I like to do both ways. Uh, the third one is the Coloring Heaven Fairy Tale Special, and this is all Hannah Lynn. Um, and I chose this one because it has. Um, I get, I, it's got variety, but it is all fairy tales and princesses. Um, but I, I just love her girls and I love the hair. I like coloring hair. I think I mentioned that also in the coloring chat, but it's got these little pictures too, which are cool. Um, and then I chose, I really chose this one because it has the exclusive pages, which I believe are these in the front or this one for sure. Is it only that one? maybe it's only that one that's why I bought this book but it's super cute so I had to have some handle in and fourth is the Chibi Girls Grayscale um, I wanted a grayscale book and right now other than my PDFs of Alina Lazariva which I didn't include the PDFs um, this and the Jade Summer Fairies yeah, Fairies Grayscale is the other one that I have. Um, but I chose this one because, again, it's got the most variety. Um, I'm working on her right now. Let's see. Finished her in January, apparently. But she's glittery. I really like her. Done. 
that it? I know I haven't colored in this this month, so I'll show you my finished pages. I colored her, which is really fun too. But I just used um, Cali Art markers in this. Oops. And then there's the very first one that I, I ever did in this book. So I just really like how that was an epic fail. Um, how the grayscale looks. And I really want to do her, but I don't want to mess her up. So, because ballet. But yeah, they're just super cute. Um, I was testing my chameleons on this one. And there's such a variety. But they're all cute. But there's like that vampire one is more like dark, I guess you could say. They're all doing something different. I haven't even looked through this book in forever, so I don't remember half of these pictures. But yeah, they've got a good variety. So yeah, so Jade Summer Grayscale. And then lastly, I wanted to pick one of my um, uh, fancier hardback books. So I chose Fairy Miracles. I just really like um, Clara Markova's imagery in this. It's so pretty. And it, again, it's got some variety because there's under the sea, there's dragons. Um, back here, there's like woodland creatures way back here. There's a cat somewhere. These bats are adorable. And there's stuff for the seasons as well. So I'm not going to do full flips. If you guys want full flips of any of these, just leave it in the comments below and I would be happy to do that. Um, but most of these... Well, none of them are new, um, <laughs> so you should be able to find flips on the internet. And I am working on a page in here. I guess I can sneak it to you guys because I might do it in a color and chat. But, yep, that's what I'm working on. So, yeah, so those are my five coloring books that I would take into quarantine. And I'm just going to move these off to the side. We've got a puzzle set up um, out here, my roommate and I. So I'm trying not to knock any puzzle pieces on the ground. Um, and then we'll, ugh, excuse me, we will go into uh, coloring supplies. So the first coloring supply that I need is my tried and true Prismacolors. Um, I love these babies. They were my first set of pencils and really my first adult coloring supply. Um, and I just love these and I need a set of pencils. Um, I didn't grab any other set of pencils, so this would be what I would use um, for any pencil coloring and in my Fairy Miracles book, so I definitely need to take these with me. So that's the first one. Um, second would be, actually we'll go with these. Sorry, my arm's in the way. My Cali Arts. Um, so I do store these on the side when I remember. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have the 100 set, I don't even know if we're in frame, there we go, of Cali Art markers, and I use these for everything. Um, I like to base in these, as you saw when I did my coloring chat. Um, I like to use them, this is what I use in my grayscale books, um, so I need these at least for the grayscale, and I do use them for color by number as well, so I would have to take these, and I would rather have... If I have to choose, I would rather have alcohol-based markers than water-based. Um, I'm gonna do a haul video here within the next few days once some stuff comes in. So you'll see, I do have some water-based markers. But yeah, my Kelly Arts are my favorite. Get these back in there. There we go. So Kelly Art markers. And then, let me get this out of the way too not to topple everything. Um, so I would also take these pebbles chalks. Um, I just got these so you'll see them again in the haul video but I had to include these because they've got a variety of color um, which is nice and I do have other pastels. My cotton balls is running away um, but I really wanted to take them because of this. I love this tool. Um, it helps me to be precise when I'm using these pastels. Um, and I don't know. I just really like it. It's very helpful. So that's part of the reason, but I really like these colors. You've got some skin tones. You can mix them. Um, so yeah, I would take these with me and they're just cleaner than like scraping off the chalk and all that. So this is upside down. 
No, okay. So, Pebbles chalk. And then I would have to take my gel pens. I don't know, there we go. Um, and this is 240, and then I do have the refills. Um, for the, I do use these a little bit in my color by number, but it really drains them. So, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see all of them, but there's a bunch of variety, glitter, pastels, metallics, um, just straight colors. Uh, yeah, so I would have to take these because I use these a lot for embellishment. Um, I use them, like I said, for my color by numbers. Um, and sometimes mandalas, I like to use them, but I don't have that many mandala books <laughs> or any in my um, hoard there. There are some mandalas to color in the color by number, but yeah. So there's those. I'm running out of space, so I'm just going to leave these off to the side here. And then the last kind of two things, um, but it kind of counts as one. It's my coloring binder um, with my little unicorn astronaut sticker that I think I got from, um, if you guys diamond paint, you know, patty wax. I'm pretty sure I got that from uh, ramen. Um, but this has everything in it. I've got my hashtags over here. Um, I've got some pictures that I printed out, the free ones from Hannah Lynn. I printed these out a long time ago, so they're just on copy paper. Um, my PDF from Deborah Muller and from Alina Lazarifa, so I keep those in there. Try to keep them from getting too wrinkled. Um, I've got my pouch. This is kind of the, the sixth one, but this I showed you guys when I, I should take it out. When I did my color and chat, that it, it kind of holds everything that I need. So in here right now, I have two fine liners, um, my Posca pen, my white Posca, my white gel pen, jelly roll, um, sharpener, and my brush, and my eraser with, there's some eraser bits in there, you just can't see them. Um, so yeah, and then when I'm working on something that I haven't finished, I usually put the marker or the crayon, crayon, or the um, pencil. <laughs> There we go, get it out, Shayna. Um, or the pencil that I'm using, or set of pencils, so that I don't forget the color combination and whatnot. And then, again, I'll probably show this to you guys when I do, oh, I bumped you, the supplies haul, or not haul, but what I have in my supplies. Got the coloring checklist challenge, all of my swatches, um, and then back here I have some finishes that, uh, or PDFs, so, and there's my girl that I finished, well, that I was doing her hair on camera. You can actually see her this time. I didn't realize there was such a glare um, on the video from the overhead light, so I've got a different setup today, but yeah, so that is what I would take, um, I guess, if I had to go somewhere into quarantine um, and needed my coloring supplies and I wasn't at home. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm not going to tag anybody specific because I wasn't tagged. So um, if you guys just want to do this tag, go ahead and do it. Um, leave in the comments below what you guys would take. I would love to hear. And um, don't forget to like, share, comment, um, all that good stuff. Subscribe thing. Um, and just have a great day, guys. Have a great weekend. Today is Saturday for me, um, Saturday morning. So have a good day um, and enjoy coloring, crafting, whatever you guys are doing. Love you guys. Bye.